Bueno. Dear community, I have my cues here, but with the participants, we're going to have a conversation on the decision made by Oscar and which was communicated through different means to finish this stage as LAC next year. We're going to speak with them about the transition and how the organization is prepared to carry out the leadership transition from Oscar Duarte. So the first question is addressed at Oscar. Many of you have worked for many places and then left those jobs for several reasons or decisions. So my question is that the community would like to know more about your decision and what are the factors that led you to think that this was the adequate moment to do the leadership transition. Thank you and good morning everyone. One never knows when the best moment is to do something. These decisions are complex, they are far more complex compared to when someone in the organization resigns because this has a stronger impact. This is because this, uh, there are relationships to other organizations, the position of the CEO. So one tries to do things aware of all those relationships. And I was never certain about which would be the most adequate moment. And with the Monday news, I have the impression and satisfaction that I think we're doing things in an organized way, and this was the appropriate moment. So the elements we took into account were basically that my family is living in Mexico now. My children are living in Mexico. We had already had a quite, quite an interesting life stage in Uruguay, but now my wife and myself decided to follow them soon to Mexico because we know we uh, want to be with them. And I had the pleasure of being a CEO since a very early age. I have been 27 years as CEO of an organization. This is quite a burden somehow. I needed to have like mental holidays. So that is why this is what I will be trying to achieve over the coming months. So these are the general reasons in general terms. I hope this has been the adequate moment. This was to better understand your decision. Alejandro from the board, in addition to being stunned about at Oscar's decision. How did you receive this piece of news and what was the impact on the organization? Well, this was quite an impact for us, but to provide the context as to how we ex realized this, 10 years we had a transition in the leadership. When we're looking for the CEO 10 years ago, the opportunity came up of Oscar becoming the new CNO. And this was a great opportunity for the organization, maybe having someone that was so much aware of LACNIC and how it worked would then accept the role of becoming the CEO. But we we're aware that this wouldn't be a temporary position. So when you leave your country and go to another country, this was something that would happen at some moment. Initially, we thought this would be for five years, and we are fortunate of this becoming 10 years. So this did catch us by surprise, but nevertheless, it wasn't such a surprise because we had had that expectation. And this was also done in stages. Oscar as a CEO and myself as chair of the board, we are permanently in contact. And for many months now, we realized that he was telling us, my son has gone back to Mexico, my daughter has gone back to Mexico. So the family started moving to another country. So it was a surprise to a certain extent, but we saw that, we had seen that coming. As regards 
the impact on the organization. I think this has been one of the things that has been positive. We have managed to minimize the impact on the organization as much as possible. Firstly, because this information was maintained as confidential until we had further information on dates and plans. So initially, Oscar shared this with me at the beginning of the year, but he still didn't have clear dates. This was then communicated to the rest of the board. So once we had finished the previous assembly, we then decided to maintain this as confidential because change in the CEO has a strong impact on the team. As a matter of fact, it even has an impact on uh, the person who's leaving because you have that uh, phantom feeling that you're no longer there, but you're still there. We wanted to reduce that to a minimum. So we wanted to minimize the impact until we had a clear idea of what we were going to do. We didn't uh, uh, disclose it, but we believe that the impact on the organization has been a minimum because I think that everybody took it very well. Yes, definitely it was very well uh, communicated and uh, it was evident that there was a plan. It's not, oh, Oscar is leaving, what should we do now? So the communication was excellent. Ernesto, as someone closer to Oscar's leadership, many, 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 uh, here they put many, many years at Blacknick. How have you seen the ro his role uh, these years and how are you uh, getting ready to uh, um, um, take his place. Well, actually, I'm. I, I feel highly committed, and uh, I'm touched, uh, and uh, um, I trust that we have an exceptional team, well structured, and experienced. Nothing to do with to what we had ten years ago. Ten years ago, LACNIC was an organization that was absolutely different. Well, we were ten years younger, but. 10 years with less experience and the team was not fully uh, formed because of many several things there were people who had left at the last moment and Oscar, when Oscar took over he saw what we were he saw our potential and uh, with uh, his vision of uh, the company, of the organization, he brought us to where we stand. Ten years ago, uh, LACNIC was an entity, um, uh, uh, as a young entity, complaining about our parents, not really, with a lot of creativity and a lot of energy, but with uh, little, with uh, our, our goals were not clear today. We are a young entity, too, with a, a, a cons sound consolidated with the gl clear goal, so we know what we have to do, and we know what do we have to, uh, uh, to do is uh, providing services uh, to a community. So Oscar's work has been fabulous. Yes, definitely, you notice it. I've never, ever heard a complaint at LACNIC. Well, no, no complaints. I mean, those things that you will hear in our organization that you say, well, uh, uh, well, because really, everything has always been so positive. Oscar. You mentioned in previous messages of LACNIC that you worked this out in an orderly manner so you wouldn't depend on a single person. How have you structured the process and what are the key priorities that you identified in this transition? Yes, maybe for the rest of the public, you feel the transition uh, starting in this uh, uh, initial things, but I think that it started when I took over as the CEO 10 years ago. Um, I transmitted the need to have a transition plan or a succession plan if necessary. And if the board was interesting in the uh, profiles that I had developed and identified and developed internal profiles, that was a possibility that uh, the board had. And I was saying that this started as soon as I took over because I always had a clear idea that you can't be uh, indispensable uh, in such a position. So at the time, we 
uh, we saw that it was necessary to provide support to uh, uh, key uh, positions, especially in the case of the CEO. This we shared with the CEO how we were advancing in the development of those uh, potential candidates under strict confidentiality. Of course, the people in those lists are not told that they're being considered for these leadership positions, but they get to, uh, they we uh, help develop in them uh, those skills to reduce that gap so it was a seven to eight year process that we were uh, formally doing that but it wasn't the only process in general terms we had uh, several key elements that uh, made us grow. Some of those elements were mentioned by Ernest because not only did we uh, grow as staff, but also at the board, we had uh, institutional government training um, courses. We are very uh, rare. Uh, and there are no um, organizations, and we're, we're not a corporation. We are not a, a, a for-profit organization, but we have accountability and transparency requirements. We have a board with a very complex mechanism for elections, and all of this requires uh, a balance and counterbalance because we are exposed to a community that requires services and a proper performance, not just of uh, the our operations and services, but all the collaboration spaces. So it was a very lengthy process. What you see is just the tip of the iceberg, but if um, we had made any mistakes or something foolish in the process, uh, they wouldn't even have uh, we wouldn't even have had uh, a succession plan that's a risk always but i think that the results the growth of the staff and the board the outputs measuring the satisfaction for um, uh, the systems and the events and the financial issues have been very positive and the board decided to follow that same path so it's um, uh, uh, it's many elements that uh, make you independent of just one single person, and if, even if you move uh, a piece, then uh, you will uh, be able to go on. Uh, Oscar mentioned that it was a lengthy process, several years, from the point of view of the board. How have you? Uh, worked this out to ensure that uh, the successors will maintain Lacknick's values. Well, this this is something that the board always mentioned, uh, always worked with, and it was not just succession for the CEO, but for a number of positions in and key uh, jobs in uh, that are difficult to replace. And uh, so the board has followed that. Every year, Oscar presented uh, the progress. There are some people in the list uh, that we had to improve this profile, etc. So we were aware of when we would uh, be able to use that plan. And although it was not made public, then uh, that plan was uh, used in other times. Uh, <coughs> and it worked very well. So that showed us we were in the right track. It was uh, good to have those people gain uh, more competencies, and uh, they always and uh, they and they had a good knowledge of um, the organization. And when those people that know the organization so well develop their skills, that is very good. And this is something that we've monitored and followed. But the big merit is Oscars, who made that part of the organizational culture. The organizations where the uh, Senior management always tries to look for people outside, not looking for the people inside. And that development is a constant work. It's not a report for each year, but it's it's um, uh, we are always seeing what needs to be given to that person, what mentorship, what are the trainings they can attend. All that was done. It didn't work well. And if we look at the executive management, we've been able to see the evolution of Ernestas 
since his previous position, previous to Oscar, uh, and then when he became um, the, uh, uh, he got his job, he grew in this all these uh, skills, so he was ready to become the CEO if Oscar were to leave. So that was quite reassuring. And anyway, when we think in the values of the organization, I think it's important. There were many factors that needed to be analyzed in this decision, but for us, the fact that the uh, organization would have a continuity in culture and values, that was very important. Knowing the surroundings of LACNIC also did. And also the fact of being incorporated in the governance, in the inter global internet governance processes was also important. Somebody that is not in this industry it would, would take a very long time to learn. So if you put all those things together, well, the succession plan was ready, and that's why it worked. Definitely, it's an organization that is complex because of everything you mentioned. It's not just a company. And it would be good uh, to uh, get the patent of the systems. So the other companies may have these transitions. Oscar, so reflecting on these almost 10 years where you were the CEO, and let me quote an Argentine politician, what were the achievements that you achieved, the most significant achievements you achieved? Well, yes. I, I hadn't prepared this because it's difficult to talk about your achievements. But uh, anyway, I think that it's been working highly committed for the common good. That is an underlying achievement that uh, permeates to the rest of the organization, because if it hadn't been like that, if we are not aligned in the process, people have different expectations of what people can get. Well, uh, of course, uh, aside from uh, the salary, people have additional expectations when they speak of the role of the organization. So that's an important thing, and it uh, makes it easy to get other achievements. The, main, the key one is to make this professional that is recognized by others, and I think that ultimately this is uh, so. It's generating a, a number of documents of uh, repeatable processes that may ensure that we are doing things the way they're expected to be done, not only uh, as an operational way. We have a certification in processes that uh, was there before I even joined, but also so at the board, we always look at it, uh, well, uh, the way we see it is today we are here, those of us who think that we are good, but afterwards we are going to be out. So these processes, we have to make sure that they will continue to operate even after we, the so-called good, are outside watching others that we know uh, what intentions they will have. So I think that this process was is one of the greatest achievements that I perceive, that I feel that I contributed with. And maybe uh, mes the, 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 they liked Mescal, and I think that that definitely helped. Yes, Thomas, and yes, and uh, Oscar. Um, so connecting with the previous things, one of the great achievements is the fact that now we would not depend, because this is a great achievement because Obviously, the organizations have uh, stages. So the first stage was the people who were directing just wanted things to work, and uh, that. But and then the stage that uh, Oscar uh, joined, uh, he increased uh, its uh, orderly, and the people there would. Uh, Ah, we, we could, you can see uh, the evolution of uh, the meetings of the board. Um, so, uh, all the team participants, and not just the managers, because the team learned to do the same. 
and uh, they answer questions and uh, we well we um, uh, being able to uh, have all the rest of the team join us. It's, uh, for us, it's very easy to know who's doing what, going to the sources directly, knowing that they are growing, and we see them year in and year out, uh, uh, having them and present what they're doing. So the, the, the organization grew, and Oscar helped them grow until now. That's very important, excellent. And the next time, I'm going to ask you, and not Oscar. Ernesto, you are now taking over as the CEO at a very significant time. What are the aspects that you most appreciate in Oscar and inspire you in this new stage? Well, to tell you the truth, it may sound rather strange because we are sitting side by side and we've worked together for many years, but what I can say is that I've, he's been uh, a mirror, his professionalism, the way he anticipates uh, the topics and uh, the way he helps us think, not uh, based on uh, pre-concepts about identifying the very roots of, of the problems and use that for building solutions and not to uh, just get fixed with the projects that we like, but to really think of whether that's what we need for a community to continue to grow and develop. If with those actions and projects, indeed, we are meeting the challenges of our community. Simple. Also, LACNIC is an organization that is dedicated to its community and has been so always. We have gained a lot, and that is part of the topics that I recognize in our daily work. As a technical director, or the coach of a team, that it has more than just 11 players. So he has been able to identify the skills of each one of us so that as a team we can generate a increasingly valuable product. So this is what inspires me. There are many more things, for example, regarding Fridays. Uh, Fridays are not days to discuss difficult things, particularly if there are no solutions to those things. <laughs> So, uh, so these are jokes because internally we always make jokes about that, and we joke around with that. And this is so Fridays are so easygoing. Alejandro, to close this session, then. Um, what does this transition involve to LACNIC, and what do you think is the important message to convey to the community regarding the future of the organization and the team? So thinking with uh, Ernesto as a CEO, well, uh, connecting to what Ernesto was just saying, LACNIC went through a stage of initial growth. It was a bit disorganized, but we were growing. Then we had the stage that we about to close here, which is a stage of maturity. The organization made mature, reached a level of excellence. We have procedures. And the next stage is a stage of stability. And we say, well, everything is working now. Stability might be easy, but it's not so easy. Maintaining stability with levels of excellence is quite a challenge because we have present what has already been achieved. So if we sort of start decreasing that standard, well, it's not positive. So this is nevertheless quite a challenge. So one of the messages is at this stage in which LACNIC is embarking on, which is age of stability, we'll have the required leadership. We are confident that Ernesto has all the requirements to meet the job. He knows the people, he knows the community, and he knows us also at chairs of 
the board so we'll be able to continue with this process of stability. So that's one of the focuses. Another message is that the community and its members should not be worried about the change in CO might have a negative impact on the services because this is because things have been organized in such a way that if we have a leadership that is focused on maintaining that stability, things will continue to work well. So that type of leadership will continue not only at the level of the board and the top levels, but also we have leaders at all the different levels. So we're very happy with the staff we have now. The staff knows what the job is about, and they really are excellent in all the work they do. We are confident that they will continue working correctly. So we still have a few minutes to open the floor, and I will be rather bad in this sense, rather mean in this sense. So this is to prevent this becoming a sea of tears. It's not an in memoriam for Oscar Roel. He's still alive and well. He's just changing from one country to another, and he's now uh, changing, uh, leaving his position as a CEO. So if you have any direct questions to each of the three members of the panel, and with no tears, please. Ariel Sebastian with her Lacknog chair. One minute. I'd like to thank the three of them who are over here. Thank you for the communication. So what does it feel like? Uh, you are wearing a suit. Um, you cannot just wear sandals and shorts and a t-shirt. I'm a staff member of the American Registry for Internet Numbers, Aaron. And I just want to say a few words. Um, Oscar, you know, I wanted to thank you on behalf of the Aaron organization for the many years of friendship and coordination over these past 10 years. It's truly been wonderful and you have our deep appreciation. And for Ernesto, uh, Ernesto, Aaron has known you for many years, many, many years as a friend. And we welcome you as the CEO of LACNIC and uh, our continued friendship uh, and coordination uh, with you and LACNIC for many years to come. I would like to thank you both. I'd like to thank the LACNIC board, the LACNIC staff, and the LACNIC community we recognize your strength, and we value our continued friendship. Much appreciated. Thanks, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Richard. So, Nacho, it's your turn. Okay, we don't want to start crying. Oscar, thank you very much for the work you have done at LACNIC. Thank you for your efforts and for being always present. And Alejandro Annan, greetings to Oscar from Chile. And the invitation to Santiago is still pending. Thank you for reading out these uh, words of appreciation. I'd also like to thank Oscar, Ernesto, and Alejandro now for their reflections, and particularly for the transparency in coming up and explaining the reasons for this transition. LACNIC's community is very much used to this, thanks to you, precisely. So I think it is very important uh, that you were here to answer the questions and that you explained how this transition would take place. Oscar has left a 
major footprint at LACNIC in this organization, and this will be a lasting footprint. Uh, and all the community wishes you the very best for the future in this decision that you have made. A big round of applause for the three of them. Thank you. So before we say goodbye, Oscar, we don't want to have the sea of tears, but we do wish to tell you that the staff and the board and the community states that when the leader leaves, uh, he is not indispensable, but you have left a footprint. Although you will not be here, your work and your legacy will be visible in all the procedures, in all the individuals. So we are most grateful for all the time you dedicated to LACNIC as a CEO and seriously as a member of the board, because like Thomas said, we will be remembering you for many years to go. And we have a memento to give you. Thank you very much to everyone. We, may, I, may I say something very briefly, very briefly? So we didn't want anyone to make any sentimental speeches, but in fact, I'm not going to die, but it seems as if I were going to die. I'm stepping aside, I'm going to go on holidays. For me, it is very difficult to depart from LACNIC. I have been thinking about LACNIC for so many years now. I was looking back and thought about when I conveyed the first, sent the first message to LACNIC. First, the project prior to LACNIC, it was Latinic, and prior to Latinic, it was Nick Latin America, and prior to that, there were already males dating back to 1986. So. I've been thinking about LACNIC for 26 years. It will be very difficult to disconnect, but I think I need this. Don't be worried about this if I uh, take distance. It's part of this process, but it will be wonderful if we meet again, uh, sharing a mezcal, of course. Bueno. So thank you very much now. We now invite you to have lunch, which will be held in the lobby of the hotel 